Hey y'all, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your illustrious host, the Minister of Soul, Khadija. How are y'all? And uh, I hope everybody is well and safe today. Look, let's get into this um, because I would be a lie in Rome if I didn't um, do this video. We still don't have an official president yet, but if, if for all intents and purposes, it looks like uh, uh, Joe Biden will be the next president. Um, but that's not what the hell I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is how I really feel about um, this whole election and how people have showed up for me um, after 60 something years of uh, being on the planet. And I know there's <clears throat> elders older than myself, uh, so I, they may have different of opinions and um, I will always, you know, listen to it. Like today, I got to go have a conversation with my father. Um, because I realize, um, you know, sometimes you just need to hear the wisdom from um, the elders, even if you are an elder. And today, it just I just feel really strange in terms of the whole voting um, fiasco. Uh, meaning, um, if you mean if you if you live in America and you play the games that you're supposed to play as an American. I mean, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about a big chunk of people of color. Now, I don't know if that necessarily means ADOS, but and white people with degrees are behind Trump. Now, that's what's messed me up because the base of his support to me was uneducated in my own mind and what I thought of uh, just as Hillary Clinton said so eloquently, freaking deplorables. I mean, y'all. To me, I'm just gonna. I gotta, I gotta make it plain. Y'all was just. Y'all was just stupid to me. You remind me of one of those guys that one of them Hatfield and McCoy type of dudes with a straw hanging out the mouth. Yeah, we're going to get them. We're going to get those damn um, Democrats. Yeah, we're going to get them because we're Republicans. You know, and I never, I, I thought basically mostly everybody that voted for Trump. And I had convinced myself that, you know, the majority of y'all had sense. And when I say y'all, I mean the European. But I can't get mad at you for voting your interest. And your interest is white supremacy. It is your religion. And y'all somehow stick together when it comes to uh, no matter what. Because these are two white men. And I would have thought that Joe Biden would have won by a landslide. Just for the fact that Donald Trump has uh, messed up everybody's anxiety. The blatant racist stuff that he did. And not, again, not saying that um, we haven't had racist presidents before. But there was a certain type of meanness and cruelness that was associated with Donald Trump that remind me of a King Leopold Hitler type of dude. And that's what it reminds me because some of the things that we haven't even been privy to in these books that I've been reading about him, it's like this dude is just bad. He's bad news. And he's a crook. And he's a thief. A liar. All these things. And even the educated white people voted for him. Even here I come, Zeus. Hold on, y'all. Let me take Zeus out. Okay, guys, I'm back. Okay. So, um, actually, I even got my. I have to. Uh, I couldn't find my passport, so I have to make sure I. Um. You reapply because uh, I know what my plan is, and I the more I think about it, the more exciting it becomes. So, um, uh, back to I'm not gonna get back to him right now, but is it this is an exciting venture? So, as I go 
from something that's bringing me down, I always like to make it like a sandwich. Um, and part of that other bun is being able and preparing for my exodus um, from the United States, snakes of America. Anyways, I would have thought, come on, y'all, tell the truth. I thought there were more intelligent people in, in, in America. And I thought that it was only the deplorables that really saw a common thread with Trump. And I understand that he's totally against the grain because I got to make it plain. A lot of people think that I'm a, a faithful Democrat. I am not. I have voted independent, in fact, um, the last two elections. So, um, mm mm. You can't. I, you got to get a different stick to beat me than that one. Uh, but anyway, be, to make a long uh, story short, I wouldn't have thought that many white folk would have voted for Donald Trump. Educated, because those are the people that I know, and I, I thought that a lot of them gave off the impression that he was a little too. Mm, Dumb for there that he could he can't use a sentence he can't put a sentence together for somebody that went to Wharton and all these other accolades that he gives himself. It was just um a lot of them found him and his behavior repulsive, not only morally repulsive. Um and I'm gonna talk about black people and morality and repulsive, and that's why he appealed to them in more ways than one. Um, I don't know in whose book has it ever been where uh, morality doesn't mean anything. I don't know when black people end up with a, as being the moral compass of the world, for the world. I just don't understand how we got off um, thinking that there's no value in being moral or having some type of morality. And yet we claim we love Malcolm X so much. We are so fucking hypocritical. That's just, okay, we don't even want to go there. But I know a lot of the, the couple of black people that I talked to, young men, uh, that were felons, who had who had been felons, and because they're, they're out now. They were on one is paroled because he was in prison. Um, and the other one was just a, just a felon, okay? And what they told me, if they could vote, they would vote for Donald Trump. I was like, well, why the hell would you vote for Donald Trump, bro? And one of them said to me, well, oh, I'm just going to tell you, A.T., you know, Donald Trump, you know, he got more black people out of jail than anybody. You know, he he uh, pardoned all them black women and pardoned all, and you know, he's working with Kim Kardashian from the look at all this Hollywood show business type of madness. I just want to deal with this for a minute. Because I'm so glad I left Hollywood show business. I'm just so glad. Because the, the behavior is despicable. The trust factor in that uh, particular business <laughs> is cutthroat like a mug. Y'all talk about the drug game. I know I've been a part of both of them, and I'm just going to tell you straight up, there's no difference. And Or the polit political game. All of them are the same. They're all one and the same. It, 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 you know. Okay, but let me not lose my point. These fools told me that President Trump freed more black people almost than Abraham Lincoln, damn near. He's the, according to one of them. And so I laughed because I thought it was funny, but un, inside, underneath, I was really boiling at that ignorance. So what I had to do was I had to go pull out my book of stats, and I said, let me let y'all know something right now, because I, I can't even hardly finish this conversation with y'all, bro. I can't. I said, because what you're saying is you're regurgitating all of Donald Trump's lies and all the lies that these ignorant Black people who are so abused, they used to be dysfunctional. 
So Donald Trump calling us names and, and doing all these things, no, it don't bother the majority of us. And we'll make excuses for it. We'll go, oh, well, we've had other racist presidents, and I just want to see if he'll give me the bag, and blah, blah, blah. It used to be a time where black people would never respond that way. It, I mean, for, a major, for the most part, there's always some. But collectively, we would have never sold our soul like that in knowing. I'm not saying unknowingly. And then there's some, of course, that always will. But I'm just saying collectively, the grassroots, the grass move movement, I don't think would have done them shit like this. Because when you break it all down, Donald Trump let eight freaking people out of jail. Eight! And y'all touting him, Van Jones and all them, and some prison reform dude, Mr. Obama, <laughs> granted clemency to 1,927 people. Okay? Donald Trump, in four years, let eight out. And so we'll go all together in Barack Obama's term to eight years. He let out 1927. Donald Trump let out eight. So maybe next year he lets out 10. There's no way. Y'all should even mention this prison reform shit in the same breath. You should shouldn't even do it because you don't need you don't even have not even thought about what you're saying enough. Prison reform. But strike down civil rights and people that deal with cases that have been uh, propagandized or who, who, who have a overtone of racism and all that kind of stuff. He kill it in the courts. So you make sure you don't get nowhere with them kind of cases. But then you tell me about some damn prison reform. That's what I call stupid. Just stupid. Just pathetic. But I'm going to read this article. And it was done by Perfie, Percy, Perry Bacon Jr. Hmm. It said the overachieving story of recent Americans' elections is that, one, voters of color who have long been Democrat-leaning are a growing share of the electorate. While white voters with college degrees are increasingly shifting to the Democrats and three white voters um, without degrees are aligning more with the GOP. Oh, y'all. Y'all bear with me. I got a, a dog here. Remember, that's going slowly going into labor. I hope she's not going in right now. If she do, I gotta cut this short. Girl, don't you have these puppies right now? <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry, you guys. The overachieving uh, story. Um, again. So this is what what we thought. The overachieving story of recent American elections. That's the um the thought. But demographics are not yet destiny in American elections. Millions of people don't align with their party or with their race or ethnicity or educational uh, education will predict. Case in point, in 2016, more than a third of President Trump's support nationally came from non-Hispanic white Americans with college degrees, which 26%. And Asian, black and Hispanic voters, 12%, and um, that was combined. According to the Pew Research Center data, on the, um, about a quarter of Hillary supporters were non-Hispanic white Americans without degrees. White Americans without degrees aren't as likely to vote for Trump as in 2016. That's what they thought. They had them and everybody else. Which is partly explains why Biden leads in the national polls and key swing states like Pennsylvania. But now remember, take into account, remember this this article was written 
at the beginning of uh, the mail absentee voting, the mail-in voting start, okay, right before then. So white Americans without degrees aren't as likely to vote for Trump as in 2016, according to the polls, which partly explains why Biden leads in national polls and king in swing states. Trump could still win the Electoral College despite poor marks Americans give him in his handling of the COVID-19, his job performance overall is that the black, Hispanic, and college-educated white voters who backed him in 2016 are largely still with him, particularly in key swing states. In other words, while Trump is radical departure from a previous GOP candidates in terms of personal style and his frequent racist comments, voters haven't radically changed their voting pattern amid his rise in the U.S. politics. And the Americans who voted for Mitt Romney in 12 overwhelmingly backed Trump in 2016, which was about 90%. And those who backed Trump in 2016 are overwhelmingly behind them in 2020. College-educated white voters polls suggest that people with college degrees nationally are likely to be supportive of Biden than they were of Clinton. Clinton won uh, whites with degrees by 17 percentage points, while Biden leads them um, by 23 percentage points. But Biden's advantage with white Americans with college degrees varies a lot by state, and that's key. In Democratic leaning swing states such as Maine, New Hampshire, Minnesota, only about a third of white voters with college degrees are supporting Trump according to the recent polls. That's why he may not win those three states. Even as whites without degrees, one of the more pro-Trump demographic groups account for the majority of voters in all three groups. So this represents a continuation of what we've seen over the last four years. Polls show college-educated white voters in Maine, Minnesota, and in particular, were significantly more democratic leaning than those in the rest of the country. Okay. Now, if that's the case, how did we get to uh, this breakdown and how the poll was shifted <clears throat> in 2016 and 20 to tw from 20? 16 and 2020. Because the Democrats were hoping for a landslide and they didn't get it. President Donald Trump was hoping to hold on to and he might just hold on to it, but I doubt it. We won't know who actually won the rape for the White House for a bit as long as the voters, as long as the votes get counted. But we do know a little bit about how the country changed during the last four years under Trump. Trump lost support among older voters in 2020 compared to 2016. Okay. Now, in 2016, Trump had voters from 45 to 64 um, was plus eight for Trump. And that's my age group. I didn't. I mean, but that's my, my group. 45 to 64 voted for Trump by plus eight points. Okay. In 2020, they voted plus one for Biden. I'm going to tell y'all where I'm going with this. So I know you probably said, what the hell? Okay, from 18 to 29 years old, uh, in 2016, 19% of them voted for Hillary. 2020, if we go right now, uh, 
white men in, um, in 2016 voted nearly 50% for Trump. In 2018, Trump got the white woman's vote by nine. In 2020, plus 12. Black women, they went with Clinton plus 90 and Biden 83 in 2020. Black men, 69 uh, Clinton plus 2020 plus 62 Biden. So Biden underperformed Hillary among voters of color. And by gender, Trump lost most support among men. Trump lost support among older voters in 2020 compared to 2016. All right? But those young millennials and Gen Xers, they did vote for Trump. That's what it looks like. Biden made some inroads with Trump's base, but underperformed elsewhere. And white voters by gender and education, Biden did better among white men. So they say. I just don't understand how this race was as close as it really is. I really don't. And because it's so damn close, I'm looking at everybody with a side eye. Like, really? Now, are you a racist or are you not? Because I still contend this. If Barack Obama had it came down that elevator, escalator, talking about all white people were killers in the vein of King Leopold and all the rest of them. If he had made any kind of mention of something that crazy, not only he would have never been president, he would have been ostracized and probably try to pick, put him up on some kind of treason charge. Okay? So, as a human being, I'm turned off right away when somebody comes down the elevator and just disrespect a member of the human family that way. Because I got a moral compass that allows me to say, wait a minute now, I, I might not even like I'm just going, this is not true, but I may not even like Mexicans. Say if I was a person that even like them in particular, because maybe I thought that they stank or whatever it was, whatever stereotype I had. I know it would be wrong for somebody to come down the elevator and say they all rapists and criminals. and I wouldn't accept that. I wouldn't accept it. And definitely not from a leader. That might be something I laugh and joke around with when I'm, if I'm talking to my friends or something like that and just for shock value. But I wouldn't dare want a leader to have that kind of quality. And the shocking part of it is, y'all don't give a damn. <laughs> you really don't. And I see how life works because <clears throat> if you don't keep these lies on the forefront and people don't know, they're just going by what they're doing right today. Or what happened last year? They don't care about this. This guy was gonna get some teenagers put. He they had his druthers would have had put teenagers to death. And because black people are so abused, dysfunctional, pain body, we used to it. Somebody, it's like an old battered woman or man. You beat me up, I love you more. I ain't going to never leave you. And that's how I feel about the people that represented for Trump. Unless they got paid like Candace Owens and all them type, you know. Because Candace and them, they opportunists. But I'm really disappointed in America because I really thought it would be a landslide. Not that I give a damn who won. I just know that you can probably, you're going to get more better chance holding Joe Biden a foot to the fire than Donald Trump. Probably because of the crime bill. More than likely, because of the um the uh, uh nobody could have saw the devastation of that crime bill because y'all act like putting people in prison was the only thing on that bill. 
That's what's so unfair. That's why I say what I say about it. It was also about the carjacking. It was also about people running around with these long-ass weapons because people in communities that was devastated. It had a domestic violence, I think, clause in it. So it was more shit in there than just Joe Biden talking about black people should be in jail. However, with that being said, you still got to look at the reality of what that bill did to us and our families. Still, nobody told them that you to use drugs. Because, you know, everything you do is going to be racism in it. That still was a choice for you to get on them. Like it was a choice for me or anybody else. And we can't negate that self-responsibility. Unless your daddy or your mama put you on dope. I mean, but y'all don't want to take responsibility for no shit like that. Of course not. It's easier to blame everybody. It's easier to blame them. Um, but let me say this. Now I know. <clears throat> I know that now I look at y'all crazy. Like, I don't know. It just seems like, oh, uh, and I can't get mad. I just say white people and tea partiers and all them, they doing what they supposed to do. So like Dorothy Tillman said, over in Chicago, that marched with Dr. King and got beat up on that Edmund Pettus Bridge. White folks doing what they got to do. Black people, y'all got to do what y'all supposed to do. And if you don't see that, no matter how you want to be with the other side, no matter if you got friends on the other side, you can keep those friends. But when it comes time to vote, you saw how your friends voted. They voted their best interest, and they voted like the rest of the white people. And that's why this race is so close. It's the black people that's pushing it through. Because the white people spoke. So, that's my rant for today. I'm not going to go on about it. I'm just looking at all y'all sideways now. Because it's like, mm, y'all probably, all y'all Trump supporters. Trump supporters. Okay. It is what it is. Right now, we don't have no president. Now, I'm going to go. But stay tuned because Joe Biden probably will be the president. The next president of the United States. With that being said, like what you hear, like and please share and comment. Tell me what y'all think. I I don't have to be right. I mean, I might, you know, tell me, give me your opinion. Give me some feedback on this right here. Because I feel really messed up today. I really feel like no kind of faith in a human family right now. I really don't. Black or white. Holler at me, y'all, please. <clears throat>